Your Fox Carolina first alert weather. Good morning, everyone. 519 on this Wednesday. We have a variety of high temperatures today. So what's going to happen is we'll start to build in cloud cover. I think areas off to the west, though, will see more cloud cover than others. If you're off to the east, you're going to have loads of sunshine and you'll have it throughout the afternoon longer than the rest of us, for instance, like in Clemson and Tacoa. Therefore, temps are going to range quite a bit. 60s are likely a high of 61 degrees in Union today for areas like Lawrence, the 60s, Greenwood, Prosperity, 65, due to the sunny skies, where some will be in the 50s, a low to mid 50. 50s will continue today across the region for most, and then tomorrow will be a bit warmer underneath this warm front. When that cold front finally sags through, it's going to drop our highs quite a bit. A bit of a chilly weekend ahead. High around 50 degrees for the upstate on Friday and then even the mid 40s in parts of the mountains with that snow chance showers and storms on Thursday when that cold front does finally pull through. We have had high pressure the last couple of days. We can thank it for the beautiful conditions that we had. Still going to be mainly dry today, but building in that cloud cover. This nice little stream coming in from the Gulf. You can see up towards us here in Memphis and then over to Greenville later on today, mainly this afternoon and evening. Following that, that cold front, that next system will inch closer, moving across the Midwest and then eventually to the mountains here and bringing us that chance of some showers. We could see a few sprinkles tonight around sunset, especially if you're off to the western portions where it is going to be a bit more cloudy, and that will continue into tomorrow morning. It's not until the second half of Thursday, that's when we really start to pull in any chance of storms when that cold front moves through the area. We'll see storms fire ahead of it and then even behind it. It's this line that will eventually form like a squall line, kind of similar similar to what we had last week, but not expected to be at least as long as how it lasted and the timing is completely different. A different system obviously bringing different threats too. So throughout the afternoon, two, three, four o'clock from Franklin to Hendersonville, Asheville, down towards Anderson, we could see it. It does want to move in pretty quick, so that's great news and I think that's great specifically for flooding. We still are expected to get a decent amount of rain with this. Eventually moving five, six, seven o'clock towards Greenwood and Newberry, Lawrence. It's going to be the evening commute and dinner time where it's really going to impact us. Lingering rain on the back side of this till about 10 and then we start to clear. But if you are in areas like the mountains closest to Tennessee, you have that chance of getting some resurgence, some snow showers with this at least through Friday evening. What we're looking at for threats with this. Heavy rain is going to be number one. Torrential downpours, you'll certainly hear that. The thunder, a little bit of a lightning show. Damaging winds is a possibility too. So very gusty winds and a low end tornado threat. This is why we have a first alert weather day for the second half of Thursday. Friday then into the weekend, we cool down with highs dipping to the low 50s and upper 40. MLK day looks nice, mostly sunny. We at least get to enjoy the dry conditions while we have it over Saturday and Sunday, Monday into Tuesday, and then we, we will get a warm up. I know we will eventually. We'll get back to milder conditions as we go into the next work week. But until then, make sure you are ready and prepared for Thursday or second half of it with that first alert weather day in place with storms. A lookout